Morning traders, and this is your DAX day trading review for today. So, a couple of things here. We first thing to highlight is that we did get our triangle break, and then yesterday was almost like a, an attempt. Um, let me just put the other line in the triangle so you see what I'm talking about. So there was my daily triangle consolidation pattern. We got a break to the downside, and then we got um, an attempt to to rally. Came pretty much back to the level that I was looking for short entries. Okay, which is up there. If we drop down to this area here, you can see there's my swing lows. That was my entry. Okay, and uh, it's looking. It pretty much happened very late in the evening, and I'm not a fan of taking of taking the trades late in the evening because I'm not looking. I'm not leaving stuff overnight at the moment. So, you know, if the market was uh, predictable then I definitely would have been in with a short there. But for now, didn't take it. If it happened early in the day, I would have definitely looked for that. Now, what we have at the moment is pretty much a typical DAX setup of a flag. Okay. Now, it hasn't not quite a, a decent, I would have expected either this gap to close or this test up here, which is also another area of uh, a short entry. Where are we sitting at the moment? The DAX futures market, so the DAX finished up half a percent yesterday, but it, right now in the futures market, we are down 0.9 percent. So we're sitting at 11.815, and I'll pick it up for you now, but that's pretty much This is the bottom here, yeah, 11.820, 11.817. So right now price is sitting down here. So expect a massive gap down at the open. If we look at this area here, you can see my channel. Okay, it's not, probably not ideal, but there it is there. In my channel, I've got a channel break, which is all the way down at the bottom here. So I'm looking for, I'm definitely still looking for shorts, you know. Uh, jumped a little bit of the gun there, so off the hour. So you can see we had this one rejection off the hour. This one didn't quite get there, so that wouldn't have interested me in, in the short. This one got there, but uh, that was pretty much after hours trading, or almost after hours trading for me. Which didn't, uh, which doesn't really interest me. Okay, I'd much prefer it early in the day to get in. So, what we have at this current moment, we've got oscillators moving to the top. We've got, yes, we do have a crossover, but this is to me after this strong move here. This is just a a little, um, what I call it, a little retracement. Okay, uh, let's just get rid of all the noise. There's my move to the downside. That was my consolidation. And if I'm going to get a break below this level here, my target area is pretty much down the bottom here. And if we just go across Okay, so you do have a swing low here, there it is there, okay, there's my swing low, we've got a swing high, so it's one, two, three, four, five, okay, so in other words, that is a very significant level, this level of 11,636, and we have a gap just below it as well, okay, and what we do want to do, is price is pretty much on this uh, swing low here. The break of this level brings a second measured move into play, and that's my target there. Okay, eleven six three six. So I'm looking for shorts, and that's the area that I'm looking to target. If we don't break through this level that we are now, and by some miracle we actually form a double bottom here, obviously that's going to build our structure for for the long. But looking at what's going on in the market at the moment, I don't think that's going to happen. Okay, 
So let's just, well, we can't really even use breakouts of these fractals at the moment because futures market is so low. So what you're going to be looking for is some kind of a, a bounce up here. If we gap below this level, so if we gap below 11,807, gap down, come up, you should get one or two bars pull back on um, the half hour or even the 12 minute and that level holds as becomes resistance then that is an area for a short you can probably use like a 50 point or 20 point stop loss off this area here okay so you've got to watch price action and i'd look at it from you can look at it even on the 12 i'll say the, the five or the six minute chart so you'll be looking for uh, any kind of pin bar or any kind of inside bar and you can see where the top there's a top there's a top okay there's a top you can see the bottoms engulfing inside bars so if you see anything like that off the breakout retest and we are pretty much I mean we blow the low of the day and we over here the area if we do hold this as support then what I would expect is a bounce off here back up to test this breakout level of 11856 and then I'm short again okay so that's kind of uh, my view at the moment I'm looking for any kind of a bounce up and then looking for a level which will be the nearest level is 11856 and we're moving down alternatively if we gap below this level this becomes my level and then I'm looking for a bounce back to come and test this level and then I'm short again okay not something to hold over the weekend uh, if we do fall to this level in you know, a day it'll be pretty interesting I don't think that's going to happen uh, nothing's impossible but um, that's definitely something to look out for and we can fall and if we do come close to it, I may be tempted to keep it short over the weekend with just lock some profit in. But um, it's going to have to move quite far for me to do that. Otherwise, I'll get out late, later this afternoon. Okay. Anyway, guys, that's it for me today. I'm short it is. Just looking for a better entry. Um, enjoy the day. And I'll uh, catch you later. Cheers for now.